special anniversary is coming up in 2018. 90 years of the famous Rheingold. Both Märklin and Trix are releasing numerous models on this occasion. Let's first take a look at the Rheingold offshoot train of the German Federal Railroad. It originally only comprised four first-class coaches. A locomotive of series 112 served as draft horse. In 1983, all cars of the TEE Rheingold received an orange-colored ornamental strip underneath the windows. The cars are designed in a scale of 1 to 93.5. They all come with interior lighting. The parlor car carries the MFX decoder. Together, the cars and Series 112 form a wonderful train as an authentic tribute to the famous TEE Rheingold, a real treasure for every model collection and for active operation on the layout. A little figure of an engineer can be discerned seated in driver's cab number one. The locomotive also possesses an MFX decoder. Please note that this model only depicts a simplified pre-series version. The Rheingold first made its way through the legendary Rhine Valley in the summer of 1928. This first journey would soon coin its famous nickname. On the way from Basel and back, the Rhine Valley with its castles and the mysterious Lorelei Rock made for a spectacular backdrop. Back in the day, the impressive steam engines of Series 18.5 had the honor of hauling this train. Märklin pays tribute to this wonderful train with a six-part set in half -O scale. At the same time, the Rheingold will also be available in N-Scale and for friends of the Märklin Mini Club. The baggage car will be equipped with an MFX decoder and authentic tail lights. Containers. They have long become an indispensable part of freight traffic. We mainly transport 20 and 40 foot containers. Of course, there are also containers with a length of 45 foot or smaller versions. This most common load, however, would be 20 and 40 foot containers. I think the main reasons for using freight trains is that they operate more environmentally friendly than trucks and reduce traffic on the roads. We are able to work very quickly and flexibly, so it would only make sense for the amount of freight traffic on the rail to grow. Much of modern logistics is carried out using containers, many of which are transported on track by means of container unit trains. Our goal, therefore, is to depict train sets like these as scale models, with the help of our container cars. Fans of more recent railroad eras may look forward to this model in particular. It's a double-stack car of type SGGRSS80. Both Matlin and Trix are releasing two different versions of this car in half O scale. The car carries two box containers measuring 20 and 40 feet in length. In addition, there will be a 20 foot tank container available. All these different cars can be easily combined to form an authentic train set. The shunting hooks and the railings at the front and rear end of the car have been mounted separately. The lettering was carried out nicely. The little flaps covering the gap between the two halves of the car can be lifted manually. Air tank and brake pipes can be found underneath the car's main structure, which is made of metal. The distinctive curving side sills are a feature of this type of car. Container cars are mainly used as part of a unit train. However, they can also be found in trains with mixed freight. 
The trucks, by the way, are of type Y25. Maclean offers many modern locomotives that go very well with the double-stack cars. A good example would be the colourful members of the Vectrum family. At the same time, engines such as the Veteran Series 151 look great with the new container cars in tow as well. Those cars can be combined to form trains of varying lengths that are sure to be real eye-catchers on every layout. The Swiss mountains are home to a very special steam engine, the Elephant. One version of this locomotive will soon be available in model scale. In 1953, the Swiss Federal Railroad modified one of their engines to run on oil instead of coal. This can be seen on the special shape of the tender. The oil-powered locomotive needs a lot less fuel than engines running on coal. Nevertheless, the oily Fant remained the only one of its kind, despite its successful career. This was due simply to the fact that all Swiss steam engines were retired from their active service soon after. The model is primarily made of metal. It is equipped with an MFX Plus decoder. Fall 2017, a very special event took place at the Gotthard Pass. Two elephants were demonstrating their exceptional capabilities at this legendary mountain railroad. An overall of 28 elephants of series C56 were built in the course of the years. It is wonderful that today we are still able to admire some of them up close. At any rate, the extra train running along the Gotthard was sold out. The most powerful Swiss steam locomotive is now also available as an oil-powered engine. Every fan of Swiss railroads should make sure not to miss out on this great half o model. Once in a while, one had a chance to admire another special steam engine operating at the Gotthard line. Series 01202. Its former home during the time of active service used to be in Hof, the heartland of Series 01 engines in Germany. Later it was moved to Switzerland. Luckily it has remained functional to this day. This impressive engine has now also joined the ranks of half O engines in Göppingen. The historic engine is owned and maintained by the Swiss Association Pacific 01202. The boiler comes with the typical silver ornamental rings. Sometimes the engine visits its native country. Here it can be seen tackling a steep slope in the Allgäu region in southern Germany. Therefore, the beautiful engine can be rightfully operated on layouts depicting German railroads as well. The model also comes with a special feature. As the engine consumes fuel during operation, the heap of coal likewise diminishes in the tender. This is controlled by means of MFX Plus decoders and a digital central station. Alternatively, the F8 key can be used to raise and lower the load of coals in the tender. 
The model primarily comprises metal parts. The gap between engine and tender can be adjusted to fit smaller and larger radii on the layout. The model comes with protective piston sleeves, brake hoses and figures of the engineer and fireman. The lettering perfectly matches the prototype. A controlled high efficiency drive is mounted in the boiler. Three axles are powered. A hinged circular door for service access is built into the smoke box and depicted on the model as well. In a nutshell, Series 01202 is a great new engine for all friends of classic museum locomotives. This model, Series 109E, will be made from completely new tooling. Macklin was granted the exclusive rights for a model replica by Skoda, the company who created the prototype engine. The new model will be released both in its German and Czech version. The latter is known as Series 380. They differ in some respects, most notably in the design of the roof. The body is made of metal. The prototype is designed as a multi-system locomotive. However, some customers, such as the German Federal Railroad, also order it as a mono-system engine. The regional DB Regio in Upper Bavaria has ordered six locomotives with Skoda transportation. In the future, they will be operating as Series 102. The engine carries an MFX decoder on board as well as a centrally mounted special motor. All four axles are powered by means of carbon shaft. The two pantographs on the roof can be mechanically raised and lowered. The prototype engine has a very striking appearance. It certainly is a great addition to the German rail traffic. And of course for all Märklin and Trix fans as well. This train established a world speed record on April 3, 2007, when it was traveling at the breathtaking speed of 574.8 km per hour, which is a little more than 350 miles per hour. The world record train came in a wonderful color scheme, which will also be depicted on the model. It will be a bit of a challenge, but we are looking forward to tackling it. The five-part train set will come with a single pantograph located on power unit one, which means at the rear end of the train. The windshield will be adjusted to match the special versions on the prototype world record train. An additional panel on the roof covers the spot where the pantograph would have been mounted. The trucks too will be modified in several places. Und es gibt dann auch an den Drehgestellen noch die ein oder anderen Details, die wir entsprechend angepasst haben. This also makes for a harmonious, uninterrupted appearance between the single units. A fantastic vehicle. Here comes another striking train. It's the IC2 of the German railroad. The cab car is particularly nice to look at. Das ist natürlich eine sehr moderne Form dieser Steuerwagen Kopf und This train comes with a very modern face, so to speak, which we have depicted on the model as well. The cab car also carries a decoder that controls the lights in the entire interior of the train. Lassen sich dann zum Beispiel auch die ganzen Innenbeleuchtungen im gesamten Zugverband schalten. When the blind is removed, a regular coupler can be installed as well. The trucks are of type Görlitz. A destination display is located at the top of the front end. It can be turned on and off by means of digital control. This train operates as IC 2035, connecting the cities of Norddeich and Leipzig. An IC, of course, needs an appropriate locomotive. In our case, it's an electric engine of series 146.5, which also comes in the typical red and white color scheme. 
Low maintenance LED in warm white and red serve as headlights and taillights. The locomotive will be based on the Trix design, which means it comes with a plastic body, countless little details and a world of operation decoder that also makes for numerous light and sound functions. A controlled high-efficiency propulsion including flywheel is mounted centrally. As a result, all four axles are powered by means of carbon shaft. The IC2 trains operate all over Germany and are soon to hit many Matlin and Trix layouts as well. Germany in the early 1940s. The powerful steam engines of Series 42 are put into service for the purpose of handling heavy freight traffic. This version has a train of four axle self-unloading hopper cars in tow. Each of them carries a heavy load, or Both the locomotive and its top style tender are primarily made of metal. A special headlight located near the cylinder makes for a striking appearance. The detailed sectional frame was carried out nicely. The driver's cab is a close type on this engine. The light in the cab is controlled digitally. Numerous sound functions can be called up thanks to the MFX Plus digital decoder. Along with the locomotive, Maclean is offering a set of 12 matching ore cars. Each car comes with an individual road number. A further six cars are available as part of the Trix assortment. That way it is possible to create an impressive block train in half O scale. Your specialist dealer will be happy to replace the wheels if need be, so that the cars should be ready for operation with both direct and alternating current. Let's switch to ERA 3 and observe this steam engine of Series 50 of the German Federal Railroad with its top style tender. This locomotive will be released in 2018 as a one-time anniversary model celebrating 25 years of the Insider Club. Locomotive and tender are connected by means of an adjustable short coupler. The model with its closed driver's cap depicts the model as it did around 1965. Along with the sectional frame, the locomotive also sports many mounted details such as the nice DB reflective glass lamps. A fantastic model, exclusively made for Maclean Insider Club members, who should make sure not to miss out on this engine. As usual, matching cars can be found among the Maclean range of products. <laughs>